Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to my long overdue best vacuum for hard floors video where I will go through the test results of the vacuums I've reviewed over the past few years and try to figure out which one is the best for hard floors based on a long list of criteria which I will explain. Then at the end of the video I'll give you my top three picks. So links in the description and let's get started. The first thing I did to whittle this list down is that I only chose vacuums that had soft rollers of some kind for this competition. Soft rollers are the gold standard for hard floor pickup. They're able to do things that standard vacuum heads just can't do, like pick up extremely fine stuck on dust. They're also almost unbelievably good with hair of all kinds. They're unmatched with large debris pickup, and because they essentially have a perfect seal, they can suck up debris from deep crevices with minimal power, which can be in important, especially for real hard floors. I also only chose vacuums that are currently being sold on the manufacturer's website. I didn't care if they were corded or cordless or upright or stick vacuums, just that they were good with hard floors. And that gave me 11 contestants, including five Sharks, three Dysons, one LG, one Samsung, and one Loop. In terms of their pickup ability, there frankly isn't that much of a difference between these 11 vacuums in their hard floor modes. They have the same basic superior ability to pick up just about anything from fine to extra large debris. I always say to touch it is to vacuum it with soft rollers, and they all did really good with everything I threw at them in the tests. Power, like suction and airflow, isn't as much of a factor with soft roller vacuums. For example, compare the Shark Vertex Upright Vacuum, which is one of the most powerful vacuums on the market right now, versus the Dyson Micro or OmniGlide, which are two of the weakest. And there isn't that much of a difference in terms of their performance on hard floors because this type of vacuuming is more about mechanics than it is power. So what are the things you need to take into account when deciding which one of these is right for you? Let's start with versatility. If you have all hard floors in your home, with only a small throw rug here or there, this won't really matter. But if you have large rugs or over 50% carpet in your house, then some of these just won't work at all for you. For example, the Dyson Micro and OmniGlide do not come with a regular cleaner head for carpets at all. And while you could technically use the soft roller on the Micro for picking up things on the surface of carpets, it wouldn't actually clean below the surface of the carpet. And with the OmniGlide, it won't even do that much, as the brushes will stall out as soon as it touches most carpets. The Dyson V50 15, LG Cord Zero, and Samsung stick vacuums all come with a separate cleaner head designed for carpets, which all do quite well, but it is an inconvenience to carry around a separate head for when you encounter carpets. The Sharks and the Loop have their soft rollers integrated with their regular carpet roller, so you can transition from carpet to hard floors without any physical adjustments. So if you have a lot of rugs or a pretty good mix of carpets and hard floors, you'll likely be more satisfied with one of these. There's also a significant difference with how useful these vacuums are for other tasks, like above floor cleaning or upholstery or car vacuuming. Here I think the OmniGlide, and in fact most of the stick vacuums, probably lose some points. They all can technically be used this way, and do come with attachments for above floor cleaning, but the shape and weight of their handles make it an awkward experience in my opinion. With the exception of the Dyson Micro, which is just right for this in terms of size and weight of the handle, though it does have very little power, so that is a downside there. So for above floor cleaning versatility, I like the Shark Vertex Pro and the Loop on the core cordless side, and the two shark uprights on the corded side. Another aspect of versatility is battery life. In the case of the corded vacuums, it's obviously not an issue, but there is a major difference on the cordless side. For example, the Dyson OmniGlide and Micro have a maximum of 20 minutes of runtime on low power, which really limits their application to smaller homes or apartments. Let's move on to ease of use, where handle weight and floor head swivel accuracy are important. Good hard floor vacuums typically have swivels of varying degrees of quality, which allow you to get to all kinds of places without moving the furniture around just by minor, accurate wrist movements. The Dyson OmniGlide and Micro were by far the best at this because of their extremely lightweight handles and the small size of their heads. Also the ability of the OmniGlide to clean in every direction, which gives it the added benefit of being extremely labor efficient. I also like the Shark Vertex Pro cordless, which had a noticeably smooth swivel with a slightly larger head width. The Loop and the Shark Vertex corded stick vacuum were okay, but there was a drop off in swivel quality. They had more jerky movements, which took more forearm effort in my opinion. And though the upright swivels were top quality, there was some loss in accuracy because of their size, though you can use the Vertex upright in its powered liftaway mode, like a stick vacuum, and you can't do that with the rotator 
ADV, though it does have the standard liftaway mode, just not powered liftaway. Though most upright vacuums don't have a lot of handle weight and therefore I think are fairly easy to use, the Shark Vertex Upright is probably overkill for most hard floors because of its overall weight. As I said, it's one of the most powerful vacuums out there, but since you don't need much power for soft rollers to clean hard floors, you're getting all that added weight from its larger motor and definitely the higher price. Filtration is an overlooked but really important quality with vacuums, and most vacuums under a certain price range are not very good at it. But all the vacuums on this list, with the exception of the Shark Vertex Ultralight Corded, are high efficiency filtration systems that are sealed to some extent, which is really good. Price is of course a factor here, and some of these are really expensive, with the Dyson V15, LG, Samsung, and Loops being the most expensive and right around the same price, and it did play a role in my final picks. So for my top three best hard floor vacuums of 2021-2022, I have in third place the Dyson OmniGlide, but only if you have a small area and exclusively hard floors or just a couple rugs. It is really great to be able to weave in and out of areas so easily, and its ability to move back and forth is a real time saver, but its small dustbin, small battery life, awkwardness for above floor cleaning, and its inability to clean any rugs or carpets makes it only an option for some people and some situations. Number two is the Shark Rotator ADV Upright Corded Vacuum. This is the cheaper of the two corded uprights on my list, and if you want the versatility and dependability of a standard upright, upright corded vacuum that's as good as it gets for hard floor pickup with very few limitations, then this is the sweet spot of value in my opinion. And number one is the Shark Vertex Pro Cordless Vacuum. It gives you the freedom of cordless. I like the upright style, making it less tiring on the arm for larger jobs. It has better battery efficiency and more power than the average cordless vacuum. Its swivel and pickup ability are very intuitive. It's able to be used in three different configurations, making it one of the more versatile vacuums on the list. It's got some advanced features you don't see on other Shark cordless vacuums. And though it's not the cheapest of these 11, it's pretty close. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.